Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 15th, 2020. A very, very, very special happy birthday to my nephew Zayden. He is five years old today, my baby boy. I love you so much, honey, and I am so sorry I couldn't be there with you for your birthday. I was supposed to be, but uh, you know, we, we know what's going on right now. We've had that discussion and honey, I just love you so much. I, I hope you have the most fun, beautiful, blessed birthday. All right, guys. So today we have God. God is in charge, right? We've been saying this. <laughs> God is in charge. But I think this card is coming up. The message behind this is that we have not been abandoned. Okay. We might be looking at the world because we'll go back and forth. Like we've been trying to kind of get going in a different direction, but we might slip back into this idea of you know, why would God allow this to happen to children? Why would God allow this to happen to innocents? Why would, you know, God allow this, that, the other? And what this is saying, the presence of God is, is and has always been there. God's source creator, whatever you call it, it has always been there. And it's our acceptance of this energy and our awareness of it that then can filter through us. It's always there. It's just a matter of activating it, Okay and activating our perceptions because there's this there's this message here of anytime you want this to change it can change things have happened in the world because we accept it because we allow it because we have been put into denial we have been told oh don't believe that it's a bunch of nonsense look over here here's another sparkly thing to distract you come on over this way but when we are centered, we are in our power. When we are in our heart, we are in, at least right now, as far as we know, <laughs> our highest capacity of vision. That's interesting, isn't it? Because some old school psychics, some old school mystics will say, rah, 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 it's the third eye, yo. And I'd be like, I know. <laughs> but Apparently, we're at opposite ends of the room and we're yelling back and forth to each other. I don't, I don't know where that came from. But anyway, <laughs> but, you know, it's a combo of the two. Because when we have, um, you know, when we have an open third eye, that doesn't necessarily that mean that people are going to be using that out of love. We've seen this. We've seen where we have had the very controlling mystic who lords power over people and keeps them in such a space of uh, neediness, right? But when we're hooking that in with the heart, now we, we're completely lit up. Now we're in a capacity to remember and we can let God in, yes? We can open up that remembrance, that God's source creator energy. We can tap into that. Now, if your intention is, oh yeah, I wanna get there so I can be, mostly it's power. It's always power that people tend to be working towards. And it doesn't necessarily always mean that person is evil because sometimes people will want to tap into power because they are coming from a disempowered place. I'm tired of being stepped on. I'm tired of being used. I'm tired of feeling like I can't make my own choices. I want to tap into that so I can be free. If I have power, I am free. Now, the message here is you can come on home into this energy while still being in your physical body at any time you choose, but if you go in with a sense of victimhood, you won't be able to perceive this beautiful love energy. But if you go in out of a sense of peace and understanding and remembrance of what is real, then you perceive it in big waves. That's what's coming through right now. You'll perceive it in big waves. And somehow, I, I think there's some bit of, um, oops, just bought my camera. Okay. <laughs> there's some bit of um, acclimating to this energy as well. So that's maybe why it's undulating. It's coming in, as I said, in waves. So just hang with it here. See and observe what's going on for you today. How are you perceiving things? Does anything open up? Do you have a moment where you remember divine love? that feeling of coming home within your own skin. That's the presence of God, a loving gesture, someone just trying to be kind. Maybe it's the, it just being kind in their own way. We need to start understanding that as well. You know, just because someone, you know, I think they call it love language, right? So maybe a stranger isn't 
comfortable, you know, smiling and saying hello for whatever reason. I don't know why that's hard, but maybe they do hold the door open for you and that's their little act of kindness. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.